Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing very well. In this video, we are going to resolve this HID compliant pen driver is missing error. If your Windows is Windows 10 or Windows 11, so HID means human interface device. So which is helpful between uh, communicating between you and uh, the computer. So basically this involves all the devices, whether it's mouse, keyboard, and other interactive devices like uh, pens. Now, first of all, what you can do is go to the start menu and right here settings and under settings on the left hand side, you can see this windows update right here. Just click on that and make sure that your windows is up to date. And as we can see here that we are already up to date. So in this case, uh, just go to this advanced options right here. Now here on the additional options on the screen, just click on this optional updates right here. So here it will recommend some of the drivers that you need to update. So you just try to download and uninstall that updated driver. So make sure all the drivers are up to date. And then after that, you can just try uh, unplugging and replugging the device that you're trying to access or use. Also, you can try after updating all the drivers, you can try different USB port. So that should work as well. Now, what you can also do is just close out of here and just go to the start menu again and right here device manager. Now what you can do here is uh, just go to the view tab right here and click on this show hidden devices and make sure that in the human interface devices your device is shown and make sure uh, to update all the drivers that is uh, here in the human interface devices. So just right click on one of them and click on update driver. Also, just make sure that if your particular device that you are trying to update is uh, listed here, just right click only on that one and update the driver. Just right click here, click on update drivers and just click on this search automatically for the drivers. You can also click on search for updated drivers on the Windows update. So that should update and solve the problem. And if you are seeing something like this that you are unsure about your device type, so just right click on every driver and click on update driver and follow the same procedure a couple of times. And after that, what you can do is just close out of here and just restart your computer and hopefully it should resolve the problem. I hope this video was helpful. Comment down below if that works and I'll see you in the next one.